the Knebusch Math and Science Center. We are connected to our main pond right now, and we are surrounded by a bunch of beautiful American lotus flowers. Our American lotus flowers are also known as Nelumbo Ludia, as their scientific name. And here in Michigan, they tend to bloom midsummer. So we are right in the middle of all of their beautiful blooming. Their roots are situated down in the soil. So as a mature plant, they can be 2.6 to 4.7 feet tall by the time they get all the way up and out of the water. Their flowers are typically seven to 11 inches in diameter, and they'll have between 22 and 25 petals. One of the main things you may notice about the American Lotus is the shape of its leaves. All of their leaves are round and they can be quite large in diameter. On average, they're between 13 and 17 inches wide. We have a few that are even bigger than that here. Um, but with their leaves and their roots down in the soil, they tend to be a good food source for a couple of our different aquatic animals. So their roots grow as rhizomes, and a lot of the animals love to chew on those rhizomes. And one of the animals here at the Knebusch Center that loves to eat them is our beaver family. So the American beaver will eat cattails, they'll of course eat bark off of trees, but they love the rhizomes of our American lotus flower. As the flower um, dies and it drops its petals, it leaves behind this pod. And inside the pod are a bunch of seeds. That's how they can propagate or make more of themselves. But the seeds and the pods are also edible. So you may see other animals munching on those seeds. The seed itself, when it dries out, is, looks a little bit like an egg other lakes, in swamps, and areas where they flood. In fact, on the trail where we flooded just a little bit this year from the spring um, eastward winds, we had a couple that started growing along our trail area as well. So these American lotus flowers are threatened here in Michigan, which means their population size is a little bit lower than Michigan would like. So they are protected, which means you cannot pick, you cannot harm or hurt these American lotus flowers in any way. And if you do, you could be subject to fines from the Michigan DNR. So if you ever see anybody picking the lotus flowers as beautiful as they are and as much as you might want to have one for yourself at home, you cannot do that um, or else you'll risk getting yourself fined. All right, and as a fun little fact for any of you guys who like to watch Disney movies, if you've ever watched The Princess and the Frog, Princess Tiana's gown was fashioned out of the American Lotus. So if you take a look, you can see how they use some of the big leaves, they use the flower, and in fact, right on the side of her dress is another beautiful lotus flower as well. So next time you're watching um, Princess and the Frog or you see Princess Tiana, hopefully you remember that you are looking at the American